Hi everyone, how's everyone doing? So a few weeks ago I did a live stream across on my YouTube channel, no my Facebook page Marianne Hansen Counselling Service where I was reviewing the TV programme Queenie and then I did a recorded video but it was just too long and it was too complicated so what I thought I'd do is I'm going to do a part one and part two where I'm literally just looking at specific themes so the program is based on a book I didn't know there was a book but um, everyone's talking about the book there's book clubs at the minute that are, I'm reviewing it and it's about a young woman she's 25 years old a young black woman navigating um, various things so some of the themes I'm going to talk about will fall into that but it's just really relatable it's really interesting um, it's a bit dark at times it's a bit real it's a bit raw but you know that's part of life and I think a lot of people are going to be able to relate to it I know that on Facebook some of the discussions that have been um, held at the minute lots of people are talking about it and just how it's impacted on them so I'm just going to talk about in this part one I'm going to talk about four different themes that have come up especially as a counsellor and a coach some of these themes are really related to counselling topics and then I'll do a second part where I'll talk about another three or four themes so the first thing is around relationships but as well significantly um, she is navigating being in an interracial relationship and then she's navigating once that relationship ends how she processes it and the aftermath of that so some of the key points from that is that because she's in this interracial relationship and she doesn't feel that he is fully like she doesn't feel ashamed um, of being with um, a white guy that she's dating but I think when she's around his family what comes out is that they have like subtle racist um, comments that they're making especially the grandma and she doesn't know how to handle this so in her head she's saying certain things but then it comes out and she says something really um, harsh which is when the grandmother is talking about you know your kids are going to come out um, half cast she says well you're not going to be alive to see them and when she says it she realizes she said the wrong thing what leads to that after that is that her boyfriend then says to her you're too much you're too loud um you know we need to split up so he says go on a break but uh, i think what it is is it's the end really so from that point she not only internalizes what he said you know you're too much you're too this but then she just goes on this really this rampage of self-sabotage and this is what a lot of people are probably going to relate to because when you've been hurt after you've been um dumped from a relationship it's just you know a way of like forgetting or you feel in so much pain so what she does though is she goes on this thing where she is going on dating sites hooking up with people she's even saying it when she's doing it i'm not really interested in this person all the people in her phone that people who have fancied her or have had some like hints towards wanting to be with her she's just calling them up she's sleeping with lots of people she's getting involved with someone who is quite um could be considered as abusive turns up drunk is really rough like in the bedroom leaves bruises all over and that sort of thing so she's just going down this like just going downhill really so it shows this how this like keeps escalating and escalating and then one of the things that happened um last night when i was watching it was that it all came to a head which i'll talk about that um, in a moment as well but it's just this thing where you are dating lots of people because you don't value yourself and because you're just getting into these casual interactions because of sex and you just want to feel better because someone has broken up with you it just leaves you not feeling fulfilled but also the aftermath um, is what happens which i'll talk about soon so there's loads of things in there everyone can probably relate to some of the similar things i mean even the fact she's hooking up with her work colleague she's hooking up with um someone who she doesn't really have any like romantic interest in but he's available and he's just there all the time she's hooking up with people who normally she probably wouldn't look at but it's just because she's in pain from the breakup and another thing that com comes up um another big theme is microaggressions at work linking that with being a black woman at work and then you're working for an organization where you're i think she's the only black member of staff there but she wants to talk about um you know issues relating to black issues now this is something i definitely could relate to because i was talking about it recently when i was at um university studying for my counseling course but even when i was studying to be a counselor i remember someone said to me you're always talking about black issues. This was 20 odd years ago. You're going to be walking around with a um, sign, she said, with black power on it. Now, I thought that was a compliment, <laughs> but 
as in like I took that as a compliment because yeah you know I'm a black woman I do talk about black issues but she meant it in a very like aggressive way no one in the class like the teacher or no one said to her that was unacceptable same as when I've been on my courses where people are just saying why well, you always talking about black issues I don't think I talk about um, black issues all of the time but as a black woman then obviously why am I not going to talk about black issues so Queenie was facing this thing where she's presenting, she's in the media, so she obviously wants to write stories that are related to black issues. But every time she's coming forward with things, her um, boss is saying, no, think of something else or telling her that's not good enough. So she's then internalizing that to mean that she's not a good writer and that she's not good enough. So there was lots of things there that came up for her. Um, and I'll go into that a bit later as well. The key thing then as well, what came up in the first few sessions was about abandonment issues. So everything, I like the way that the program links lots of different things, but you see little pieces and snips of it and you, the jigsaw puzzle starts to come together more and more as you watch each, pro, uh, each episode. So it shows clips and flashbacks to her mum abandoning her, leaving her and saying, I'll be back soon, but not returning. And then we know she goes to live with her grandma. It shows like it keeps going backwards and showing you that her mum um, had Queenie when she was quite young and there was lots of disapproval of her getting pregnant at a young age. Then the father wasn't around and then she's got involved with someone and there's domestic violence. You see scenes where he's saying, you know, to Queenie, he's labelling her as like being a troublesome child or you know, I'm the one that has allowed you to come here with your child. So she always was feeling not wanted and not valued. And the mum was always saying, if you're good, then he won't shout. So you're seeing a blueprint that is being made by saying, you know, you're not wanted as much. You're not valued as much. Um, you know, you have to be this particular type of child. So there's lots of things there. And I think that then plays out in uh, adult relationships because if you're not feeling safe, secure, loved, valued, appreciated when you are very young, and it starts from, they say like Balby says, from the age between naught to five, if your experiences are really negative, it says they will carry you through to adult life. So if there's no one around significant in your life telling you that you're worthy, telling you that you are the priority, then how are you going to feel that? And it sort of carries on into your adult life. So what I want to talk about in the next video that I do is some of the significant events that happened which led to Queenie having a mental breakdown, but also that, you know, um, also talking about a few more issues that came up. So that I'll leave it with those for the moment. And in part two, I will continue to talk about some of the things. I'll definitely recommend the TV program. I don't know about the book. I've not read the book. I don't know about other people. I'm someone that if I read the book, then that's, I just want to read the book um, and not watch the film or the program. Or if I watch the film or program, I don't want to read the book because I think it's kind of like the two things are completely different. People are saying that the book is completely different to the TV program. So I think it's up to you. So I'm just going to do part two now where I'm going to go into more depth. I hope you found this review of the program Queenie, which comes on channel four on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Um, helpful. Thanks for watching.